Making a break in a male-dominated field is not a new area for Lucille Paru. Although she has left her profession as an aircraft engineer, she continues to break through the cultural norms of gender roles within her community and the sport of boxing. Paru is the only woman to be a qualified referee and judge of boxing in the country. Skola Sengi reports. Nevertheless, Lucille Paru continues to break the cultural norms and strives to bridge gender equity through sports. The Hagen-based former boxer is the only Papua New Guinean woman to be a qualified boxing judge and referee in the country. I'm actually the first female referee and judge. Um, I've taken a liking to the sport for a number of years. Uh, it's quite a privilege to become a referee and judge to represent Hiri, actually. I've got that level one, hopefully I get level two and three and then I'll be up there. She sits among her colleagues with one aim in mind, to use sports as a tool to change the mindset of young girls and women in the country. Yes, I would like more females. Seriously, I would like more females. Uh, get into the sport. We've got this issue about gender-based violence. I do work with NGO groups as well. And um, going around and doing ad advocacy on gender-based violence, I find that um, if you get into boxing, you learn a few skills about defending yourself. Don't attack the person. You make sure that the person knows that I can stop you from hurting me. There are many challenges that she has faced both in and out of the ring. But it's, it's been a very good challenge for me. And now seeing that more females are coming in and actually enjoying the sport, it's, it's really good for discipline. A lot of people see it as being violent. Um, it's not actually violent. If you get somebody who has an aggressive temper on the road, you come into a disciplined sport, they teach you how to use your aggression. They teach you how to combat, defend yourself. If a woman's on the street, if she needs to defend herself, it's self-defense. You don't attack the person, you don't hurt the person, but you defend yourself. So it's good in terms of learning how to build yourself internally as well, socially, as well as learning to keep yourself physically fit. However, that has not hindered her spirit to prosper in the sport. And the winner on the red corner. Skola Sengi, NBC National Sports, Port Mosby.